Hey everybody, Ref from Stardew's Gaming here, back with another first look video. Today we're going to be checking out the Stormguard Darkness is coming. So this is a turn-based tactical RPG um, with, you know, party management mechanics and whatnot. Uh, based on, or at least very loosely based on, the Night's Watch from Game of Thrones. Or from A Song of Ice and Fire. And uh, it plays pretty much exactly as you would expect. I haven't really gotten into the storyline at all. But there is sort of a dragon involved, as far as I can tell, at least from the introduction. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and, you know, play a little bit and see what we feel about it. So let's go ahead and jump into a new game here. And uh, Stormholm Keep is just fine with me. We'll play on... Let's go on easy. This is my first go-round, so I don't want to get completely demolished here. Obviously, we're not doing Iron Man mode. And explaining game mechanics would be great, because I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm pretty sure... Uh, I could figure it out very, very quickly. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I already have a Storm Home Keep. I booted the game up just to make sure I could, you know, get my recording settings and stuff done before I started this. And uh, apparently it saved it. Oh, it won't let me make the same name. Okay, then, uh, there. All right, so welcome, Lord Commander. For a thousand years, there's been no sign of the dragon, but while mere mortals with hasty bodies live and die, dragons spend centuries coiled in their underground lairs, sheltered from wind and weather, ignoring all the activities on the bright green surface. Only rarely, once or twice in a thousand years, does the dragon rise, but when this happens, hell breaks loose. Uh, all the other foul creatures inhabiting the land to the north will join the fray and invade our lands. The Stormguard is a military order founded more than a millennium ago uh, after the last visit of the dragon. It is dedicated to protecting the realm of men in case the dragon shall ever return. Uh, sounds more like when the dragon will return. Unfortunately, after a long time of peace, the Stormguard is a shadow of what it once was. Now that the dragon is back, you, Lord Commander, must fulfill your oath. We rely on you to lead the order back to old strength. Stand strong, stay true, and let nobody pass. In the name of the king, it uh, looks like George. I don't know. Welcome to your outpost here in the north, Lord Commander. I hope you had a safe trip. Times are indeed rough, and your leadership is more than appreciated. Okay. They're laying those uh, heavy, like, northern English accents on pretty thick here, just like the show. Um, so, town navigation. Let's click on that. Okay, so it wants me to embark on an adventure already? Really? Let's take a look at the mission board. Okay. So, uh, this is our available missions. Looks like there's only one. It's a patrol, and it's short. And uh, here's our roster. I can pretty much figure that out. Um, so it looks like we'd get 23 gold for this, 70 XP, and one random potion and or scroll. Uh, looks like we can only take three with us. We have Aaron Nibson, who's a warrior, level one. Uh, Ravenger Croson, who is a healer, level one. Wit Hilson, who's an archer, again level one. And then Bryson uh, Newell, the guard, and Sanford... Pinkerly, the apprentice healer. So I'll probably just stick with the party they've laid out for me here. Uh, seems like a good balance, although you seem pretty lightly equipped for a, a warrior, pal. This guy looks like he's pretty beefed out. Wait, I wanted that. Yeah, he's got, like, really heavy armor on. He's a guard. I don't know what the difference is there. So let's see. Can you shout? And adrenaline-based skills. Adrenaline is a unique resource. Um... So it seems like they're supposed to be the tankier character, but maybe not, because he is like very, very heavy. He's just a simple or a simple storm guard, so he doesn't really have any uh, special abilities where the warrior does. Well, obviously, I don't want to bring two melee characters, so let's put our healer back in there. You don't even have any shoes, man. What is this? This place must be really falling on hard times. Um, We'll go with this party. I, I feel better about the guy in like full plate armor versus the the warrior in his socks. So uh, yeah, let's jump into this first mission because it doesn't seem like I really have any other choice. Uh, apparently, missions take up stamina, so you can't just like spam out the same heroes every single time. I guess that makes you like build a balanced party with depth. You can't just rely on like three characters. 
We must good find hope in the darkest of days to give us the strength to finally carry on. Okay, so uh, obviously this is our inventory, this is our party on the map. I believe these are randomly generated, so this little layout's going to be different every time. Um, looks like we only have one place to go, so let's go there. The fan. A fat man shouts at you from a distance. You can't understand what he's saying, but he's waving at you. Uh, let's stop and wait for him to catch up. The fat man beams with happiness. I know you. You've been fighting the dragon. You're famous. We need more dragon slayers like you. You don't bother to correct him and are pretty surprised as he offers you a scroll to aid your next quest. Uh, we learn dismiss condition. Okay. Cool. Uh, that was alright, I guess. Let's move on south. Undead Toll. Uh, as you pass by, you notice a band of undead. Their leader speaks softly. Greetings and welcome to our road. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. You're facing a group of harmless undead. I assume if we refuse, it's going to end in uh, casualties for one side or the other. 11 gold, that's not a lot. But do we really want them shaking down everybody that comes through here? I think that's the real question. Hmm. I want to see some combat. I don't care if it's a small toll, let's fight. <clears throat> okay, so here is our party. And what are we facing? Ghouls are um, a skinny kind of creature, but they are quick and fierce fighters, crushing their enemies with their heavy maces. The zombies okay. are not particularly fast, so use this to your advantage. Killing them is only a temporary solution as they tend to recover after some turns. Nobody knows who raised these good? skeletons. They are not very skilled fighters, but sometimes can do some unexpected critical damage. Okay, that's uh, interesting. So the ghoul sounds like the biggest threat, but the zombie's got a really big axe and that makes him seem dangerous. So let's see here. Um, <clears throat> this is the battlefield. I gathered that. On the right side, you can see enemy team. Yeah, I figured as much. This is my team, obviously. Um, okay. And skill bar. Yeah, I, I guessed. Okay, dismiss health bubble. So how far can you move? Uh, I don't want to move too far, but it looks like his... I think his attack range is this red circle. If I'm assuming right, because it seems to go completely around him. So... Maybe the blue is his movement range? But I don't want to... Let's see. They look to be about two squares out. So I probably want to move... Mm, I imagine that they are going to move right at us on their turn. So you know what? Do you have like an overwatch? No. It'd be nice to cripple them though. But yeah, why don't you just wait? Let's jump to the next character. So you're my melee guy. Let's get you out in front to about here. And uh, let's see, melee attack, static defense. Um, sure, go ahead and static defense since you're out in front. And whoops, apparently I have to confirm that. <clears throat> okay, and whoops, next character. So apparently you can't just click on the characters. Maybe you can do it up here though. Um, what can you do? Heal, doubles chance to block or parry. Yeah, why don't you throw that on him? And we'll do our best to tank the damage with this guy. Okay, and I think that's all we're gonna do because the archer didn't have any buffs. Yeah, the crippling shot would be nice, but they're not in range, so I'd rather let them come to me than go meet them. Okay, so here they come. The zombie is awful slow. The ghoul is pretty quick though, so that's concerning. Um, he's also apparently trying to like flank us or something. So Archer, if you don't mind, could you uh, cripple him? 90% chance to hit, 17 to 20 damage. Confirm. Good job. Okay, so the ghoul now suffers from a crippled condition. Uh, movement range halved, minus 25% to block, parry, evade, or dodge. Okay. Um, and apparently that doesn't... So how does the action point thing work here? 
I'm not super clear on that. Do you just get two actions of any kind? Yeah, it looks like you do. So it's similar to like XCOM, or the newer XCOMs in that regard. It, apparently if you don't move you can attack twice. But yeah, he can still do a range attack, so let's go ahead and fire at that ghoul. Dodged it, okay. That's pretty impressive on his part, given that he does have a dodge penalty because of that uh, crippling shot. So, let's see, with the healer, I don't really have any healing to do, so maybe we should throw some fireballs at this guy. Uh, is there anything else? Heal party, that's interesting. Yeah, throw some fireballs his way. Let's see if they're particularly effective. Not really. Not as much as you would think. But yeah, throw another fireball his way. I'm going to try to kill him first because he seems most threatening. And then I imagine the zombie is going to hit pretty hard. But uh, he's awful slow. And I think I'm going to leave you right here. Although I could rush you in. But that's going to completely get rid of his static defense. And that would have made it an entirely a waste because his cooldown's going to go away. Um, but I kind of want to like run him up here. Yeah, see if you can trap all those guys in melee combat. And then you get one attack. So what does that Savage Thrust do? Bow is blinded for two turns. That could be useful. Let's try it. Nice. Oh, and apparently his attacks taunt, too. Good to know. So we got like an auto taunt. Oh, good, everybody's coming this way. And he managed to block. Nice. So I, I guess the healer is going to function as a healer and a buff bot. The archer is obviously going to put out damage, and this guy's pretty good at taking hits, it looks like. All right, Mr. Archer. Let's, uh... Like, how close do you have to be on that one? It doesn't really give you, like, a, a range, does it? Oh, okay, so it just narrows in the circle. Yeah, go ahead, then. Go forward. Nice. And, God willing, and then give us maybe victory. you can get him with your, uh... You know what? No, no, no. Go to the healer real quick. See if you can get him with a fireball. No. Okay. So the question now is, do I go for the kill with him, or do I go for the heal? Hmm. I think I'm going to save the heal, because he hasn't taken a ton of damage, and there are cooldowns on the abilities. So why don't you take the kill? What? No, don't do that. No, 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 that was a misclick. I should have just confirmed it up there. God damn it. That was a, a terrible, terrible mistake. Um, yeah, I don't like that you have to confirm it up there. You can confirm it by double-clicking, but, uh, I don't know. That, that shouldn't have happened, but it, it's my fault for misclicking. It's just, like, obviously the mouse follows what you're doing, so I didn't want to do this and actually move up there, but in doing so, I misclicked over here instead. Ah! So, they have done. Today, we shall bathe in their blood. Okay, uh, anywho, we're going to take the kill there. And that leaves us with two actions with our tanky guy. All he can do is attack, so let's just focus on this guy. And we might be able to put him down. Uh, pretty close. Let's see. Yeah, they're just going to wail away at us, that's fine. Um, So the question becomes now, I think I'll have the archer finish this guy off. That's who is selected, right? The archer, yeah. So kill that guy. Fortune favors the brave. If we don't dare, then we don't stand a chance. And then fire at the zombie. Apparently you can fire through your own guys, that's good to know. Let's have you swing at the zombie a bit as well. Good job. And once more. Cool. Right, so now what I need you to do is I need you to heal this guy for 78. I think that's going to fill his health bar. I don't think he needed... Apparently he needed 71. Okay, so 
it wasn't a total waste. And then let's have you um, throw Guardian on you again. Oh, wait, one more turn. All right, in that case, go ahead and attack. Oh, we critted, nice. So he actually doesn't hit that hard. Harder than the uh, skeletons, but still not all that hard. Mr. Archer, you keep putting out damage. Is that your thing? I feel like I should be spreading the kills out. I don't know if they're getting ki or if they're getting XP just for kills or if they're getting it for damage. Just to be uh, safe, I'll make sure that the healer gets a little bit of uh, kills in as well. Oh, we blocked it. Okay, put a fireball on our friend here. We will kill every single one of these creatures, pestering the lands, or die trying. I don't know if I'm going to bother with Guardian. Let's just put some more damage on him. Nice. We parried it anyways. Okay, let's just have the melee guy finish him off. Oh, blocked it. Cool, we got that one through. That wasn't too bad. Took a little bit of damage there, but the we were able to The Storm God remains it. victorious. Well done, Lord Commander. All right, so we got some gold, some food. XP, and I recognize this song. It's from the same um, from the same royalty-free music source that I use, so that's kind of funny. All right, and there's our first battle. Um, let's keep on moving through here and see what we get next. Bumpy the wild creatures. Um, walking in the snowstorm, you are almost blind and suddenly bump into some wild creatures. They hiss. We don't normally. They can't be that wild if they're talking. We normally don't tolerate humans here, but you seem to be lost in the storm this time. It will be overlooked, but next time you humans die. Mostly harmless creatures. Uh, let's just keep moving. We just fought. I don't want to fight every single thing that we come across here. So what's the next stop? Friendly soldiers out of food. Greetings, so good to see you. We're lost in these lands and our supplies are gone. We're starving. Can you spare some food? Um, I have 42. We did just get some from that fight. I guess I can. So our rep with humans went up, we lost some food, but they were willing to pay us for it, so that's nice of them. And let's move north now. Trace of blood. You notice a trace of blood leading into the dense woods. Someone or something is hurt. Um, we are on patrol, and this is something worthy of kind of keeping an eye out for, so yeah, let's, let's check it out. Um, search is hopeless. We didn't find anything. All right, well, that could have gone a lot worse large convoy. Um, they see you as a threat and send their escort to attack. There's no time for explanations. Some threatening dwarves and humans. Uh, kind of feel bad running, but like, uh, I don't know if we can take threatening dwarves and humans. Well, we are sort of running out of time. Maybe I should just, uh, no, let's, I want to get to the, the other stuff beyond. We failed, okay, so there's no way out of this one. But yeah, I would have liked to uh, have a little bit of time to maybe see what's, you know, like what else there is to do outside the missions. But it looks like we got three on three. Um, two male dwarves and a female human. She appears to have a bow, so we might have an archer duel here. Uh, I'm going to actually stand my ground like I did before. But if she wants to move into our attack range, that's fine. I'm going to put him in front of the archer, but still out of her range, assuming her range is the same as his. Not going to waste static defense yet. And um, how long does that last for? I'm going to wait on Guardian as well. Although it seemed to last for quite a while last time, so let's... I mean, better to do it now than, you know, need to do something next turn and not have the ability to. And we'll end our turn there. Let's see what they decide to do. So she's going to swing wide. Interesting choice. And she managed to just get our guys into range there. Oh, she went for the healer. I didn't think she had him in range. It looked like just these two were. But we can fire back at her. I'm curious, does the crippling shot do anything to her accuracy? Because that would be pretty useful. 
I'm gonna try it. And then we'll put a regular shot her way as well. But yeah, I think our archer is gonna have to focus on her. Right then, so my tank is gonna move on up to engage these two. I hope I can get dwarves. I would I would like to have dwarves. Uh, let's see, no shield over here, then I think you're the one getting the uh, getting the damage first. All right, I'm actually gonna. You didn't take a whole lot of damage there, so maybe I won't. I was gonna move him, but I would rather be able to attack. And um, well, I guess I can. Yeah, you know what? Move here. That should put you like one out of her range, and then you can throw a fireball this guy's way. Nice. <laughs> She's going to continue to engage my archer, but yeah, my healer is just safe. Oh wow, it did like nothing. Yeah, you are not going to win this duel, lady. Especially not if we start landing some crits. Cool, so she's already like half dead. Um, why don't you just do some regular attacks? And we're going to continue to focus fire here. Seems to be working pretty well for us this far. Now, I don't even need to really bother healing with you yet. It said these guys were threatening, but these are actually not hitting nearly as hard as the undead. Ooh, he's bleeding, that's bad. But even their crit didn't do a whole lot of damage there. Yeah, I mean, she's like barely dead, denting his armor. Cool. So I think two more shots will kill her, or at least very nearly kill her. Uh, over here, I think you can finish this guy off. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Decimated. And then, hmm, I don't. Does bleed count as a condition? I guess we could find out. Go ahead and dismiss his condition. It does. Okay, so that got rid of his bleeding. Sweet. And, uh, apparently you can static defense. Go ahead and static defense then. And then you still have one action, so why don't you throw a fireball his way. Cool, so we carried it. She's gonna fire at my tank now. Not a big deal. Uh, let's have you finish the archer off. I need to put a heal on the tank now because he's getting a little bit closer to death than I would like. Obliterated. Alright. Now we can pretty much focus all of our... Well, we can focus all of our efforts on this guy now. But I like his ability. Basically, <clears throat> every, atta every attack he does taunts, and so people want to attack him, which is exactly what I want. Um, so yeah, heal him. Sweet, so he's basically back to full health, and then go ahead and throw a fireball. Actually, I probably should have given him the, the defensive buff again, but not a big deal. But yeah, I, I'm really hoping I can get some dwarves, especially the ones with the shields. They'd be pretty sweet tanks. Maybe like a dwarf with a musket for like a ranged character, that'd be awesome too. Go ahead and do Guardian, and then throw a Fireball. Oh. His, his uh, weapon does an awful lot of bleed damage. Right, maybe Axes do more? I don't know. It looks like one more hit from this Halberd is going to put it down. Nope, maybe two. Oh, we blocked it. Okay, get him with a fireball then. Actually, heal the party first. Because I think our, our HP carries over from battle to battle, so if we can heal a little bit of the damage here, we may as well. And then go ahead and finish him. Cool. Skill and determination are more food, more gold, victory. more XP. Um, with the escort defeated, they bow low. The fight is lost, we can only ask for your mercy. 
explain that you didn't want this fight in the first place. They're happy that you don't finish them off and apologize for your reaction. They offer some food and gold as compensation. So we got even more food and gold than our rep with the humans and dwarves went up by three each. Nice. So hopefully we can get out of here without any more fights because I'd like to see um, like to see what else this game has to offer other than just the, the quest. Uh, you suddenly notice the strange old man who's just standing there doing nothing. He seems to be immersed in meditation. Uh, leave him be. We'll move north once more. And we did miss a square, but I'm just trying to get through this as quickly as possible. Undead armed to the teeth approach you. Hand over one of your party members and the rest can go unharmed. Um, yeah, sorry. Not going to happen. So we're going to have to fight these guys. I might cut this fight just so we can see what's, you know, what else there is besides fighting. Because that's all we've done so far. So I uh, wanted to cut this fight, but there's like a giant monster thing here. Um, a vampire. So that's what vampires look like. They look like giant werebats without wings. And the skeleton sorcerer, that's an interesting combo. Usually the sorcerers are the ones conjuring the skeletons. But anyways, um, again, we're not really... We don't have enough time to uh, do this, so... I guess I will break off the video here because we are well over on time, actually. And if you guys want to see more of this game, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to play more for you. Uh, maybe even a series if you guys want. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to break it off here. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Stormguard with you. And I look forward to seeing you guys back here for my next first look video.